Hi there, it's Tuesday. We're gonna do a quick pick a card reading for you guys. We've got three piles, so let me show you the box. So, um, no, this one and this one are part of the giveaways on Sunday, so be sure to check out the pick a card giveaways that are on Sunday, every Sunday at 12 noon. We do a premiere. Okay, so the pile number one is the Shadowscapes deck. Beautiful, very romantic. In fact, I'll just show it to you. Gorgeous, okay. That is pile number one. Pile number two is the, I don't remember, what is it called? Uh, Ethereal Visions. Beautiful with the gold foil. Fancy. Pile number three. This is also part of the giveaway that we do on Sundays, pick a card giveaways. And this is the Crystal Visions. Also very romantic. I use this, I use both of these for Twin Flames readings. Gorgeous. All right, so the decks are already shuffled and ready. I will give you guys a few minutes to chew on that, take a couple of deep breaths, try and clear your space. Let me clear the energy in the room. <clears throat> Love and light to all who have seen us. Let's begin. Did you pick a bio? So um, these are going to be short, so you can go to, I'm not sure if we're going to do charms and pendulum on the, I definitely do those every Sunday, so check out that pick a card. Um, but anyway, these are going to be short, so you can jump around, you can watch all three, you can, you know, take bits and pieces. Usually there's a, some sort of spiritual message in every deck, in every pile when I do a pick a card that comes through, so you may want to, you know, watch them all for that part. But um, just take a deep breath see which one you're drawn to and this is going to be why did they leave okay so why did they leave all right pile number one oh one two three we're gonna start with pile number one <clears throat> yes this is two this is three i did think about that okay well, let's get started how are you guys wow Alrighty, we have the Empress, and when I was prepping this deck, pile number one, <clears throat> I also saw, I saw some Twin Flame indication, was it two, I don't remember, it was two cups, maybe, something, okay, these are already shuffled, I've already prayed over you guys, and meditated, so I'm just going to get them warmed up a little bit, Wheel of Fortune. I don't know why they left, but it looks like they're going to come back. <clears throat> Either that or it was a karmic, it was a karmic, um, hmm, hold on. There it is, ten, two cups. See, this came out already. I don't know, pile number one, you guys have something going on here. <clears throat> I don't know. I keep my that karmic. I keep wanting to say karmic. I have no indication of that, but I'm just hmm. wow. I don't know. Pile number one. Maybe we need to change yours to when are they coming back? Because they it looks like they are <laughs> with love. Okay. Well, let's go back to what we're doing. Why did they leave? If we have time, we'll do charms and pendulum. But I'm trying to keep this video um, down to. 30 minutes. Here we go. Somebody is a fire sign. There's somebody in this scenario, you or your person, who is extremely fiery. It's, I think it's you for a lot of you. Um, I feel like maybe it's the feminine. Okay, so oh, roles can be reversed, by the way. They can intermingle, flip-flop around. It's not gender specific, so just forgive me if I say he, she. Um, but there's a fiery female here, a fire sign, very attractive. Um, you or you find them or they find you extremely appealing. <clears throat> Judgment, second chances, possibly a um, 
could be also something legal. Six of Pentacles. Okay. Why did they leave? Why did they leave? The Empress. I think you guys are talking and dealing with the twin flame here. What's going on? I can't really, it, it's so weird because lately, it's, when, it's like when the twin flame energy, when there's a lot of activity going on, it it just, it, it won't leave me alone. So you, you'll see I do twin flame readings on Tuesdays, but it kind of comes in spurts because if there's a lot of twin flame energy, I do those readings. If there's not, I don't, but I'm going to try and do one every Tuesday from now on so they're consistent. Page of Pentacles. So communication. <clears throat> about stability is what you're both thinking two of pentacles that's your person's energy i think that they are eight of pentacles is how they see you hmm complex queen of pentacles how they view the situation yeah i think there i think there's a third party here mm. How they see moving forward, a passionate new beginning, definitely passion. <clears throat> Behind the scenes, five of pentacles, feeling abandoned out in the cold. Tara's advice, queen of swords. Oh, yeah, I don't, that doesn't look good. Oh my gosh, outcome, ten of pentacles. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Libra. We have obviously fire. We talked about that. Um, so that's uh, Aries, Leo, Sag. We have Sag again. We have Aquarius. Jeez. Okay, so what you cannot see, okay, King of Cups at the bottom of the deck and Two of Wands. Okay. And then there's this, and then there's this. So I definitely feel a strong, I mean, I, 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 I feel the message already. So here's what's going on. They see you as, okay, they have a lot of love for you, all right, with this King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They have something heavy on their mind. They are juggling a decision that needs to be made and or they are juggling what they have versus what they want what they have versus what they want okay i'm going to tell you what they have and what they want what they have is this someone someone that represents something long-term stable secure on the on the surface okay could be a wife but that what they want is their empress their other half the one that completes them the one that they have incredible incredible passion and desire for that they cover why do they cover it because they're already in something that has them tied something they've committed to they see <clears throat> So the, the, here's the world. So the world is about cycles, right? Cycle completion. I do feel like this person's coming back. Why did they leave? Because you. Look at her. Who wouldn't want her, right? Are out of reach. They think about it. They want to. They're probably going to come back. They feel left out in the cold. They feel unhappy without you. Your advice from Tarot, if you even want it, you may not even want it, is to cut it, cut it, cut this out because you deserve to be, to be with someone who you can who can be with you. Not staying with someone that cannot give to you and devote themselves to you. Not staying with someone like that is how you get your Ten of Pentacles. Very clear message. It's out of reach for them. They can't get there. They can't get here from here. They can't get there from here. There's a lot that has to happen. There's a lot of work in between. There's a bridge. There's a helicopter. There's something. 
that has to happen and it's not a snap of the finger. There's something major and it takes time to get from here to here because right now it's not, it's not within reach. Okay, even though that's what they want, they think about you. Pile number one, that's why they left. Let's do a charm real quick. <clears throat> Okay, we're gonna do, um, these are gonna be either initials. I ordered new dice, cause these, some of these dice are just too hard. These are gonna be initials that could form words. See, what, what number is that? I don't know. So anyway, I ordered new ones today. I think they come tomorrow. You, ooh, sunshine. I just, mm, sunshine just came through. Somebody says, hi, sunshine, or something like that. You are my sunshine. Maybe there's a child. It's not clear. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? So I'm going to let you guys make words here or initials. There's a blank. You can use that anywhere. There's an R. There's a B. There's a M or a W. Mine, bike, Mike. Okay. All right, so let's roll the dice. These could be in important dates. We have a one. Don't know what that is, a four and a one. Uh, this one's a five and another one. Keep your, your eye out for one, 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 because I just, in four, well, I don't know what four, four, four means for you, but that's coming up a ton for me. Okay. Let's do some charms. First, we'll prop this up. Can you guys even see? Okay. Yum. Okay, let's do a few charms. <clears throat> you versus you. Remember, you can be, do, and have anything you want. What the mind can believe, what it can conceive and believe it can achieve. We all want to be happy. You want this person because you feel like it will make you happy. But it's not making you happy. So don't, you know what I mean? They do want you. But until they can be with you, there's a key, the key to my heart. Don't let them hold that key. You hold your key. Sagittarius. And then be careful who you give that key to. You don't want to give a key to your house to someone who was unable to care for it, would you? Don't give that key to someone who can't care for you. Optimist. Love them. You can love them from afar. Sagittarius. I don't feel like it's a bad person. I just feel like it's a person that can't be with you right now. Moon, that's Pisces and Aquarius, dreams. Ooh, vanity, somebody, oh, self-care. I feel like you guys may need to, uh, so, I think some of you are doing good here, but some of you need to practice some self-care, health, nutrition. Maybe get your hair cut. <laughs> I cut mine myself, it looks terrible. Mm. Say what you need to say. Microphone. All right, pile one. Love you guys. We will see you in pile two or pile three, hopefully. If not, come see me Sunday. I'll be in the chat room for that pick a card, and we'll do a giveaway every single week. All you have to do is leave comments. Please leave comments and um, hit like, share, subscribe. All right. Okay. Love you guys. Let's do pile number two. Hello, pile number two. If you chose this beautiful ethereal vision stack this is your this is your pile okay let's get started why did they leave in pile number one we not only got a real real clear message of why they left we got um we got advice came through we got whether or not they'll come back i'm not gonna spoil it for you but Hopefully. I wasn't going to do another pick a card. I was actually going to do the horoscope signs, but I kept feeling pulled. <clears throat> Why did they leave? 
One more. I keep feeling the tower, so um, some tower somewhere. Ten of Pentacles, this is you. Ten of Pentacles, let me back out. We did charms for pile number one. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do them for every pile. Uh, so Ten of Pentacles, that's your current energy, nice. The devil. <laughs> that's both of your inner, overall energy feeling tied stuck something toxic maybe but I think more like it's like you you can't let go of thinking that they're they are your ten of pentacles their energy ace of cups they want to bring in a new cup of love the star how they view you wow healing a dream dream I feel dream you may be their dream come true uh, how they beat the situation. Okay, obviously, they're hurt. Why did they leave, though? Wow, how they see moving forward. Ten of Swords. They leave. I think they left because um, Tara's advice, I mean, not Tara's advice, behind the scenes, Ace of Wands. They, I don't know. I hate to say it until I know. Tara's advice, High Priestess, follow your gut. Ace of Wands is all about a passionate new beginning. I mean, it looks like you're the one who caused this outcome. Six of Swords. Too much drama, maybe. Three of Wands. <clears throat> Let's get some clarifiers. I mean, right now, if I weren't, if I wasn't going to clarify, what I would get is that you are focused on your Ten of Wands, whether it's with them or not with them, you are not going to sell yourself short because this was not progressing. Um, hmm. You may have spoke your mind about something. They may think that you're going to reject them. Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. You may have called this person out for being a player. And what's sad is that they really cared about you, but you're not going to settle for less than your Ten of Pentacles? Is this, is this making sense to anyone? I think what happened is you stuck to your guns, held on to your value, and said, I'm not dealing with this. I'm looking to the future. I know what I want. I know what I deserve. Something, somehow, something you did energetically or verbally let them know that you are onto them. You see the Romeo. The Romeo is, you know, in and out, sweet talk, probably texts you and three other people at the same time just to see who will respond because all of the people he's texting are like in that same place of, God, do I respond? Do I not? You know? Yeah. See this? You've got self-care going on here. You've got, I know my value. I know my worth. I think this person is playing this with several other people. So that's why he has to, um, it's like a, it's like a, um, it's kind of like you, you either hinted, I don't even feel like you have totally direct communication with this person. I feel like it's little innuendos, like um, you had to say something if what you are thinking is take me out of your rotation. You've got me on this rotation with, you know, one, two, three other people. And so when you're the one spending time with them, the other two or three or whatever, they're going, um, they're the, they're sitting at home going, God, where is he? Why doesn't he call? I mean, but when you're with him, it's he, he makes you feel, he, she, sorry, it's not gender specific, makes you feel so special. So you hang on to that and then you're like, oh, I get, you know, and you tell your friends, I've got, you know, I'm going to see da 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 tonight. And, and then you're in, he seems in 100% and he is, but then he doesn't let himself get too attached. What's really sad here is that he, that what you think, how he, you think he feels about you is legit. He does really like you care about you on his level he um but you and, and you know why because you are hanging on to your value wow three major arcana death he thinks that he can't do what he wants with you you may have ended it you may have ended it or implied 
and this isn't working for me, hoping that he would go, okay, baby, tell me what you need from me, or he would step up. He's not stepping up because he's got too many other people that he can just rotate. And by the time you, then time will go by and you falter or you get you know weak or lonely or miss him and then you reach out. By the time that happens, he's filtered the other two people or three people. But that's why he's not doing anything, because he can't give you what you want. Um, or he's not willing to, but he does have feelings for you. The Empress Death, yeah. He thinks you ended it. He also thinks you're on to him. He, he's going to wait for you. He, uh, he may breadcrumb you. Some of you may get a breadcrumb, but you need to know not to bite. Because if he says, hey, then you need to go, hey. Don't play games. You really are someone above this. So you don't have to pretend. You don't have, don't let yourself get into that awful place of, what should I do? You know, he said this, what should I do? If you're overthinking and having to spend time on, <clears throat> on how to respond to, hey, something's wrong here. You know, I mean, you need to, you know, you deserve someone that's going to go, what's up? You know, what are you doing? How's your day? Tell me all about it. Do not give this person more time. They will come back, but they just want to keep you in their rotation. Sorry. Been there. Awful. Just don't let yourself, you know, be lowered to that. Okay, love you guys. I will see you maybe maybe in, two, in one or three. There are um, usually spiritual messages come through or advice in every pick a card I do in every pile. So you might want to check out the other ones. If this doesn't, does, if two didn't resonate, you definitely should pick out. <clears throat> check another one. Hi, pile three. How are you? Communication. <clears throat> Why did they leave? Why did they leave? Was it something I said? Somebody's thinking that. Was it something I said? Okay, first of all, if you guys can't talk about it, <clears throat> that's not good. So stop beating yourself up, even if you did say something wrong. But we'll find out. Are you too controlling? Are they too controlling? Ooh, justice. Your energy, seven of swords. Well, did you do something shady? Page of swords. Spying. <laughs> did you guys get caught spying? Oh my gosh, somebody got caught spying. Seriously. Pile three. Really, somebody, like, fess up in the comments so the rest of us can get, you know, some entertainment. Somebody got caught spying. Stalking on Facebook, even, maybe. Justice. Um, jeez. That looks dark, doesn't it? Look at that. Sorry, pile three. <sighs> Interesting. How they view... <laughs> oh, my gosh, how they view you. Well, as foolish... I seriously think somebody got caught. How they see the situation, they don't know what to do about it. But, you know, why were you spying? If you were spying, it's obviously because something didn't, um, oh, you may not even know. They also view you as, it could be a new beginning. Page of Wands, yeah, drama, immaturity. <clears throat> Pile number three, you may want to start with someone new. Page, uh, page of Wands, that's, you know, communication, texting. Maybe you over-texted them. Out of balance. They don't know what to think about you. Behind the scenes, magician. Aries energy. Ooh, they are very attracted to you. Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag, Three Cups. All right, well, they left because they know that you're watching and they have a third party. Uh, duh, pretty easy. Yeah. Happen. So they know that you're going to figure out that they have, that they're juggling. Doesn't mean they won't come back. Oh, for some of you, they may be married. All right, let's see. For some of you, it, it might be that they're telling you that they're not happy in the relationship, but you're kind of figuring it out. Some of you might have really strong intuition and, um, and your gut feeling is telling you that they're not being honest. 
don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm not faulting you. I'm not judging um, for the spying. You know. I mean. I, I think we all do it to a degree. I mean, that's what social media is all about. That's what it's for. That's what tarot is. What are we doing here? We're spying on the person we're curious about, right? But somebody figured out that you were hiding in the bishop. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's just see what else. Two of Wands. They aren't totally sure what they're going to do about you. We've got the Unknown card, Six of Cups. They are really thinking about you. It's not easy. Queen of Pentacles and Knight of Wands. Yeah, they want to come back or they want to take action, but they're, yeah, they know that you have strong um, intuitive abilities and that you're watching. Yep. That's what happened. Um, hmm. Let's do a romance angel. Where are the romance angels? Uh, I don't know where they are. Let me find them. Interesting. This was such a fun pick a card. All three of the piles were fun. See, I like them when they're short. And there's pretty, I think there's spiritual messages or advice that comes through in all of them. I always set that intention, something that's going to help you. Um, so you may want to watch all of them. <clears throat> Because there might be some, I, I hear that a lot of people say there's something of value. Innermost feelings, getting to know each other. Yeah, you may be getting to know something they don't want you to, <laughs> to know. Well, I just saw reconciliation for yourself. Yeah. I think there's spying. You're, there is spying involved. And if you are in that position where it doesn't make sense, it usually doesn't make sense because there is a reason. Time to, time to get back to your unicorn energy, you know? Time to take back your control. I feel like we're done. I, I don't know why I'm pulling another card. I kind of feel like we're done. There, yeah. You need to move on. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. I'm going to pull a couple charms for you guys. Um, yeah. It, it's time for you to get back to being your old, playful, wonderful, not feeling down about yourself to where you feel like you're having to, you know, lower your standards to spy because something doesn't make sense. Um, that's your advice. I'm going to pull a couple charms. Okay, Faye, Esperanza, and more. That's love, faith, hope, dream, design, achieve. You are the creator of your experience here on planet Earth. Anything the mind can conceive and believe it can achieve. You are bigger than this and you are better than this. Keep calm and kill zombies. Somebody may be hiding in your bushes too. Roles can be reversed. Brave, peaceful, strong, happy, thankful. Here's a bow tie. That means anything to anyone. You may be, this may be a professional that you're, ooh, here's a feather. It's good luck. Think about, oh, keep your eye out for signs. That always is my sign. Um, cherries on top. There's a saxophone, maybe. Um, uh, listening to jazz. If you guys have an invitation to go out with someone else, you need to take it. If not, you need to position yourself. Yes, I think there's something shocking here. Um, and here's Wishbone. You know, don't settle for less than what you want. All right. All right, pile number three. Love you guys. I'll see you in pile number one or two. Or at the very least, please visit me on Sundays. Leave comments and you'll be entered in the drawing every week. Love you guys. Sundays at 12 noon central. Standard time. Love you. Bye.